Well, now what? Um, I don't know. Let's poke around Valkyrie. Okay. Got something for just about everyone in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Ah! He has questions. <laughs> someone new? <laughs> Perhaps someone looking for me to mix something up for them? How many red guards in Skyrim? What brought you here? Well, my family back in Hammerfell didn't approve of my interest in lethal poisons and death in general. So I left and wandered north. When I found this town with its huge cemetery, I felt right at home. I opened the shop and I've never looked back. This is where I belong. Okay. Why did you name your store Grape Concoctions? Is it because you like dead people? I know it's a bit strange. Not exactly a name to bring comfort to the sick and ailing who come to buy a poultice or salve. But what you must understand about Falkreath is that our town is defined, for better or worse, by the large and ancient cemetery here. That's why the inn is called Dead Man's Drink, the farm is called Corpse Light Farm, and so on. I suppose it's sort of a running joke. I guess so. What do you got for sale? Take a look. Nothing I want. Cure disease. Ooh. Okay, I do actually want that. Enabler. Mud crab and vampire dust. Keep an eye out for those, I guess. Can I just steal some of your vampire dust? Or buy it from you, perhaps? Maven's going to kill me. It's just a matter of time. What? Why? Ah, you scared me. <laughs> for a second there, I thought you were a hired thug. Uh, nope, just a regular thug. But you're not here to kill me, right? I mean, there's people out there who want just that. Uh, who wants you dead? I probably shouldn't say this. No, you shouldn't. But it makes no difference now. It's Maven Blackbriar. Now you know why I'm so scared. No, I don't. I don't get it. We don't know who that is. Yeah, why would the Blackbriars want to kill you? I used to live in Riften and do odd jobs around town. One day I decided to ask Maven's daughter if she needs any help. Uh -huh. It turns out she's an alchemist and needs someone to fetch her ingredients. Only the things she asked me to retrieve aren't worth the trouble. Giant's toes, Daedric hearts. How in oblivion am I going to get those? I don't know. But you accepted the request anyway? Why didn't you just decline it? That's the problem. I'm the one who'd asked her if she needed help. It's not just Ingen, either. I have a habit of trying to please everyone. And doing all this work was driving me mad. <laughs> you, you're saying you took on too many quests here in Skyrim? You couldn't get them all done? You were juggling too many? I hear that happens quite a bit, yeah. I came up with this idea. I couldn't stop asking people for work. But what if they stopped accepting my requests? Uh, if I could burn that bridge, ruin it in such a way that Ingen would hate me forever, then I'd never feel tempted to ask her if she needed help. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Only because I decided to test this theory on a Blackbriar. If it was someone like Bowley, it would have worked. Who? We don't know the population of this town. We just got here. So Maven's daughter's why you're here gathering alchemy ingredients. Yeah, I thought maybe if I made it up to her somehow, she might forgive me. But who am I kidding? Ingen might not care, but Maven's another story. Okay, so what'd you do to burn the bridge, huh? I wrote her a letter. But it still wasn't nasty enough. Then I met this really angry guy, Puck, in Windhelm. I just scribbled down everything he said. All I had to do was change the name. Man, your story is, like, all over the place, and I feel like you're just making up shit. What happened to the letter? Gave it to a courier about a day ago. It wasn't until she left that I realized my mistake. I've been on pins and needles ever since. Great. What if I track down the letter for you? Really? But what are you going to do? Once a letter's been handed to a courier, you can't take it back. Um, I'll just kill her and take the letter. That would solve my problems, but no, no, I couldn't ask you to do something like that. But the roads are dangerous. Maybe someone else did. I'd go to Iverstead and find out if she made it that far. Why don't you just ask oh, me? Oh, and I forgot to mention, she's got blonde hair and blue eyes. Okay. I know that could describe anyone, but you don't see too many female couriers around here. So that should be enough. Okay. This quest is stupid. You looking for something? <laughs> Help me get out of this quest. Also, for future reference, probably don't go up to a random person and go, Your skin color is different! Why are you here? Everyone in Skyrim's racist. It's fine. I want to jump into this well. Woo! Oh. I want to jump into this well. They made it so you can't. I wanted to fall in the well. 
Hey! Open the well up! Okay. Thank you! <laughs> oh. That's what the noise was. It oh, was it was a log. It was a log. Being logged. Uh, the Earl. Maybe the Earl's got something to say. Make it quick. I did. Excellent. You've done us a great service. I like his crown. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Oh, yeah, I got your letter. That's right. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. I don't know what stories There's you've heard. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. Ooh. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. Ooh, this Jarl is corrupt. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Good. How did you become a Jarl while you're so young and corrupt? My uncle Dengir was Jarl until a short time ago. His old age and failing health caught up with him, and he stepped down. Oh, you inherited it. He now serves us honorably as Thane, and to the great benefit of the hold, I now serve as Jarl. Great. Farewell. I'm sure the people who are attacked by bandits are really grateful you're the one in charge now. Indeed. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. Yes, indeed I am sick. I'm sick of not having enough work to do. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Are they different from the bandits he also just told us he wanted to kill? They might be. How long have you been a steward? It was Dengir who made me a steward, long ago when he was young. When Dengir's health began to fail, young Sidgir was appointed Jarl in his stead. It was simpler just to keep me a steward. Sidgir has no interest in running his hold, and so leaves such matters to me. As for my part, I do my best to see that folk are treated fairly. Why is the cemetery so big? I've heard talk of how large it is. Many battles have been fought here over the centuries. Graves were dug and monuments built, and the town grew around these. In time, Falkreath came to be known as the hero's graveyard. Many noble Jarls and renowned warriors asked to be buried here. What an honor. Falkreath's reputation has faded somewhat, but the graves remain, reminding us of the one inevitable truth of life. Taxes. May wisdom forever light your path. Okay, thanks, Lydia. Every time that happens, I think something really bad just happened, but it's just... It's the, <laughs> the dragons are attacking all these towels every time the lumbersmith drops them along. Everyone in the town flinches and looks <laughs> in his direction. He goes, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. This Everyone I'll... in the town has PTSD. <laughs> I'll yell timber next time. Don't mind us, just gonna ransack your house. Be mindful. My maid, Tikla, has been known to pass information to that pompous nephew of mine, Sidgir. Oh. So this is the guy that was yeah. ill? Yeah. Okay. You, you were the Arl once. Aye, not so long ago. Some will tell you I stepped down on account of my old age. Truth is, I found out about all the Imperial spies crawling around Falkreath. A few well-placed bribes and... They bought themselves some friends. Suddenly, the nobles are calling for a new Jarl. And all the while, their pockets are jingling with the sound of Imperial Septons. They named me Thane. They got my nephew Sidgear in my place. A real friend to Cyrodiil, that one. Well, that sounds like none of my business. But you said there's a plot against you? Well, not against me, against all of Falkreath. Those Imperial bastards are spying on every one of us. Last night, I saw Laud the blacksmith writing a letter. <laughs> Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Are you loyal to I Skyrim? Mean, he's like your best friend. Break into Laud's house and get that letter. Wow, so that's how you treat... Uh, no, I don't wanna. Milk drinker. Ha! <laughs> Mind what you say. The Empire has ears all over this town. Uh-huh. I am the Empire. <laughs> Lod was like, I risked my life on multiple occasions for Dengir, not because he was a friend and an ally, but because he's a good man. And then we go talk to Dengir, and Dengir's like, break into his house! I know he's doing illegal shit! <laughs> Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengir first, and the Empire second. And your invisible hammer third. Great. 
Tenkir is my greatest friend and truest ally, and I would never do anything to betray him. Most and now we break into Lod's house to steal the thing. Well, I have magic for that. And nobody knows. <laughs> Here we are. Where's this letter hidden? Don't see any... Are we sure Lot is literate? I don't see anything in here. I mean, there was a book. Was it a picture book? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. I found it. What's it say? Old friend, need all the iron you can dig up. Double my usual order. I know the mine isn't rich as it used to be, but I'll pay extra. Lot. Why does he want so much iron ore? It might be good or bad, depending on who he's building armor for. Yeah. I feel a strange... Thirst as the sun sets. What the? Great, am I a vampire? You got bitten by a vampire! God fucking damn it! I don't want to be- No! No, we're not doing that! Well, stop being bitten by vampires! I can't really help you. Hey! I'm just- The war has me. changed, Falkreath. No, it hasn't. Even our neighbors can be our enemies. You probably want to read this. Need as much iron ore as you can dig up? Well, he's not spying. But it's clear the Empire's making Lods smith up more swords and armor for them. Good work. Take this. Uh, whoa, that was a lot of money. But wait, he's super loyal. Maybe he's making the armor and weapons for the Stormcloaks. What else do you need? You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. I haven't even been to the graveyard Most yet. Most of the townsfolk think it's the work of a corpse thief. The truth is... Is less pleasant. Lod's gonna get buried it is, there. Was the grave of Vigar, my Ooh. own ancestor, dead for centuries now. He is also a vampire. My family is entrusted with keeping him buried. But recently, someone stole the ward stone, and Vigar escaped. You could just kill the vampire. Whatever, fine. I'll go find a ward stone for you. No, it's too late for the wardstone. Okay, fine. I won't find Big the wardstone. must be destroyed. If this gets out, my family will suffer great shame. Yeah, death to all vampires. I will see that Vigar is destroyed. He will have fled to gather others of his kind. Let's go flee to him. All right, well, I need to find some type of shrine to cure my vampirism. Is there a church around here? Uh, a shrine, a synagogue, a mosque. A Pastafarian temple? I might go to that one. A the tavern! Right. Sure spoons. Handsome man in Falkreath. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> he doesn't think I'm huh. very handsome. Uh, no. <laughs> and there's a brawl breaking out here. Okay. Jeez, they're going to town on each other. <laughs> this, is, this is interesting. Oh, you're going to play? Too, little too much to drink. And there's some... All right, I don't know what any of that was, but uh, great. Uh, I need a shrine. Where is the shrine? Not in here. Got to find a shrine. Got to find that graveyard. Maybe the grave... Oh, maybe the graveyard is near the shrine. Maybe the... Ah. All right, that's the Arl's long house. The lumber mill's over there. Oh, God. Yeah. Hey, what's on out here? Oh, oh, a shrine. Well, there was a graveyard and we found the shrine. All right, cool. All right, oh, hey, we found the graveyard. Wow, what a massive graveyard. Yeah, there's a- That's it? The god Arke was once like us, bound to winding mortality. But he willingly gave up this existence that we might better understand- Hey, honey, you wanna head on out soon? Life and death. I said goodbye 20 minutes ago. This is a Midwestern goodbye. The ebb and flow of this cosmic you didn't slap your knee and say, well- and renewal, Oh, God. And in the end, peace. May the spirit of Lavinia and all those who have left this world and its suffering know the beloved serenity of Aetherius. Amen. And may we one day rejoin them in eternity. So, what the hell was that? We just came out here to look for mushrooms. So we got a quest to kill bandits, another quest to kill bandits, quest to kill a vampire, and a quest to kill a career. We must look like assassins for hire. Bobby came over and called me stupid. I want you to go kill Bobby. Also, I'm a Daedra. That's a very loud bug. That's an incredibly loud bug. What is that? You stay away from that bird! <laughs> Skeleton! You protected the bird, good job! 
Save the bird. No, oh, I want to no, see the bird. Don't. Come back. Ooh. Come Look at him. He's a friend. Stop oh. coming out of the ground to attack the bird. Oh, he's cute. Oh, what a little friend. I like him. Yeah, a little pheasant looking guy. Another one of those minotaurs, eh? Oh, he's he's hungry for bird. Oh, wait, nope. Oh, he's taking out a guard. Jeez. <laughs> he's feral. He's, you can tell he's feral because he ain't wearing pants. Gross. Hide your shame. A horse came out of nowhere? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Banner Mist Tower. Greetings. There we go. Oh, wait, I'm still wearing the Clavix and Bile Mask. And some Alakir, apparently. <laughs> Just that mask comes running at you out of the... Next. Well, that, was, that was simple, if I'm being completely honest. Bandit's head. I don't know how I reached it from there, but okay. That Yarl wants us to clean up his dirty work. And then we're going to go to report back, and he'll say... Time for me to take care of the last loose end, and he'll try to attack us. And then we'll have to deal with that. Hello, bandits. We're here. Hello, bandits. I'm I'm here to kill you. Oh no, you don't. Snipe that one, nice. <laughs> Yay, we did it. That one's done. Uh, next quest is kill the vampire. All right, vampire killing time. I mean. Vampires, we're here. We're I mean, one of you. Greetings, but Nice try. Can I, can I turn that off? Can we can we turn that off? Just wait for it to run out of fuel. Yeah, remember that other one that didn't run out of fuel? Hey, remember how you got to smell that makes you ethereal? Oh yeah, that's right. Fine. It worked. Right. Oh, that's a. I don't know what that is, but that's kind of scary. What <laughs> are what are them monsters again, eh? I'll give you a, a letter. What is a fleeter? Uh, some kind of vampire thing. We'll kill the fleeters and we'll kill the feeders. Which is what we call vampires because they feed on your blood. Oh, I cannot freaking see. That uh, might be for the best because if we saw that, ah, uh, we'd be pretty terrified. No, it's just whatever. Good enough. There you go. Hey, I captured its soul. Hooray! The gargoyle came to life. That's kind of impressive. I don't want a contract vampire to- Ew! Ew, you were eating the blood off the fingers. You guys are gross! Stop being gross! Where's your head leader so we can kill him and move on? I got places to be today. Bats! They're fleeing! Kill them! Bats, bats, I hate bats. They drive me crazy, crazy. I was crazy once. They locked me in a cave. A rubber cave. A rubber cave filled with bats. <laughs> and we'll just snipe yeah. these guys off from a distance. Vampires are weak to the sunlight. Fire's probably pretty close. Uh, I don't have a UV flashlight, otherwise I would be using that. Wow, there's a lot of them actually. I can see them oh, like, like bugs. You you well, stay. you know what they say, when you see one vampire, there's always six more that you don't see. Yeah, so be careful when crossing the road. A lot of crazy beasts that we can't really see because, believe it or not, caves are poorly lit. Is one of the vampires that we killed the leader? Blood is already mine. Goodness. <laughs> This is a crazy vampire beast, hey, is be it? Careful. Has it gone rogue because it joined our side? No, it doesn't matter now. Nope, it's dead. I don't know. I can't see, I can't see anything. Ah, more vampires. Oh, wait, not the gargoyle. I stab. Stabby, stabby. Oh, it was just a pretty face. <laughs> oh, you didn't have a pretty face. You, you wish. I'm more than just a pretty face, she said as her teeth fell out of her head. <laughs> uh, chicken's tanking for us, I guess. Ch chicken. Chicken, are you okay? Do you need help? Good lord. <laughs> That's why he's got the helmet on. I pull the lever. The final Until boss, man. Okay. Come down here and fight me. Just ignore the guy and kill the guy. Well, uh, no, the beasts are still down here. Still need to be tended to. I could still put up a fight. Can you? H hang on, I want to get up to you. How do I get up to where you are? He's full of youth and vigor. Oh, did he come down here? He did! You idiot! Damn. You stayed up there, I would have had to figure out how to get up there. <laughs> also, why are you wearing sea dog armor? I killed a pirate captain and I liked his garb. I just always wished that I had a boat. Those I, were his final words. But I could only sail at night because I'm a vampire. But he has night blindness. Ah, the irony. <laughs> 
Oh, what the? Is that a death claw? Is I'm that gonna, super I'm gonna ignore that. All I'm right. gonna ignore that. I didn't see that thing down there. All Whatever right. that is down there, I don't see it. No, okay. Death to ogres! Not because we're racist against ogres, but because you guys are inherently hostile. Now that's how it's done. What the hell? Oh, it was literally a death claw. Yeah, I just, all right. <laughs> okay then. They get everywhere apparently. I, I guess so. We've got three bounties to turn into Falkreath, and then we'll go kill a courier. All right, first things first. You're all in a sleep a bit. Can't a woman get a moment to herself? Leave me. No, I have uh, the bandit leader's been killed. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. May wisdom forever light your path. Hopefully so. Goodbye. Just wake them all up. Psst. Hey. Are you kidding me? You want to talk now? This is the reason you wake me? <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I killed the leader of Ember Shard. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. Thank you. You know what? Jeez. I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Woo! Talk to my steward if you're interested. Is there anything else you need by Jarl? Yes, let me go back to fucking sleep. <laughs> there is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. Mm hmm However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. Farewell. Goodbye, Babu. <laughs> Powerful men have many enemies, more so in times of strife. We tell a chicken? <laughs> Let's go wake that lady up and buy a house. <laughs> hey, hey, get up, get up. I know you just went back to sleep, but get up, get up. This is important. Let's talk real estate. You look awful. Better not get me sick. Oh, that's right. I got I contracted vampirism again. again. <laughs> All right, now we're cured. So, hey! I can almost taste it. <laughs> Look, it's a friend! <laughs> I'm just coming to visit my sister in the graveyard. Oh, oh. <laughs> just Wait. kidding, we're all alive! Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Not as dumb as you look. But you look pretty dumb. Hello, friend. Vigor's dead, yep. My family thanks you. Take this. As a token of our gratitude. Thanks the money, buddy. All right. <laughs> Thanks again for helping reopen the East Empire Company. Gonna have them import me some of that aged bread and cheese. I get aged bread and cheese. <laughs> okay, I get the aged cheese. I maybe. get the aged cheese. Yeah, the aged cheese. The makes staler, sense. the better is how I like my bread. I want my bread to be one hundred percent mold. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all stupid. <laughs> Look at him! Yeah, he's kitty. <laughs> mom says I'm getting a new mommy and daddy. Tape. So I'll have two of each now. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> is she? Is, is her mom gonna kill her? She's being traded for magic beans. Let's ambush the courier in Ivor's dead. Except the courier is moving around delivering mail, so we might not stay there for very long. Oh, shoot. What if they're gone by the time we get there? You'll have to follow the trail. Good to see you. Hi, how you doing? Make hey, sure you want to kill some bears for you? Jeez. Back here, huh? Hey, the courier. Ah, a fellow traveler. Have you come to Iverstead to climb that 10,000 steps? It's unlike a Nord to not know how many steps there are. I may be old in years, but I don't know much about the world outside Riften. Great. Did a, did a female courier come through here? A female courier? Why, yes. She was headed south to Honeystrand Cave. It seems she had a run-in with the bear and dropped her satchel. I told her to forget about it, but she was a stubborn lass. She left not too long ago. If you hurry, you can get her. Or find right. her mauled corpse! Great, we'll go do that then. Everything all right? No, there's a courier being torn apart by a bear, apparently. We, have, we must go save them. Actually, we put a feral cat. This cat's grumpy. I'm not gonna pet it. I, I knew I know what happened last time. <laughs> you got feline AIDS. I got cat scratch fever. These must be the bears that killed the courier. What the? No, they're baby bears. 
No! This is the ones that tore apart that woman. <laughs> Why are we killing baby bears? <laughs> what are those baby bears? No! Kill the woman, I just said. I don't care about the... Oh, no! I don't want to kill baby oh, bears. Oh, no, here comes mama. <laughs> yeah, no shit, mom's mad. We killed eight of her cubs. <laughs> Oh, oh man, now I feel bad. Oh, that's a papa bear. We got an entire angry Ursine family. Yeah, here's a big one. Soul captured. Is that the dead? Nope, that's an elk. I thought I saw just like <laughs> I saw just like that, and I thought it was a a, a, a booted foot. What if this is like a sitcom? And the elk is the the fun uncle. Welcome to the bear family and Uncle Elk. Uncle Elk. Laugh track. Uncle Elk, you can't put your beer there. You mean my bear? <laughs> <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> hey, Temba. Temba, 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 Temba. <laughs> I got bear pelts for you. You think you're going to throw enough bear pelts at her that she gets hot under the collar? Which one of you lasses is horny for Jeez. bear pelts? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed thought the I saw her coming here. Hrothgar. I'll I sleep feel. with you if you've got wolf pelts. I don't, I, no, I don't want to sleep with you, yeah. Bartnar. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. What do you mean you don't want bear pelts anymore? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh, the bear! It's the grandparent! <laughs> he found out we murdered his entire kin! And you killed the elf! He was the fan <laughs> favorite! <laughs> Oh, it's another baby! Come on! I'll teach you to mess with me. Sure, they start off small. These damn bears are driving me crazy. <laughs> you really hate bears? It's funny to me. I hadn't been looking for them. I feel like the local population has been decimated by hunters. Why did why did I think that that wouldn't work? We knocked out a beehive with a single bee in it. One. It was his bachelor pad. Weird. Hey, what are you doing, man? Get out of here! Deeper into the bear cave! Alright, in we go. Which is apparently where we need to go for whatever reason. Yeah, oh, that's right, the one we got. Yeah. yeah, we're looking for the courier. I heard that the courier might have some type of platinum coin. There she is! She, yeah, she's she's trying to fight him off, alright? Let's see if we can keep her alive. What's that? We asked the courier for that letter. She said, she says, I can't! It's part of a quest! It's stuck in my inventory! <laughs> Out, I guess. Feral ba they're all feral because they're bears. <laughs> Unlike the tamed ones. Yeah. Or the domesticated I ones. Thanks for the assist. I owe you one. Good, I'll take your life as payment. No, I'm just kidding. Uh I need a favor. Ooh, can't right now. I'm on official courier business. You know how it is. Yeah, that's the thing. But next time you need a letter delivered, look me up. You won't be disappointed. I needed to ask you about a letter being delivered to Ingen Blackbriar. How'd you know that? Eh, doesn't matter. I'm not supposed to talk about the clients. The person who sent that letter didn't mean to send that letter. Not my problem. Once the letter's in my hand, it doesn't belong to him. Okay. What if I race you for it? You serious? With those legs? <laughs> All right, but this means we're even. First to cross the bridge to Iverstead wins. Got it? Good. Wait, then wait, wait, go. wait. No, 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 no. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that one. I don't want to. That's going to take too much time. That's going to take too much time. Come back. Come back. I have to kill you. Come back. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Ah, fuck. Do, 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 do. Oh, my God. How did she get so far ahead? Gas, gas, gas. We're going to step on the gas. Did not. You cheater. You cheating lady. <laughs> I can't outrace us. Or rather him, because he's using the shouts that I can't use because he's the dragonborn. But <laughs> is that it? That was the... <laughs> I win. I win. Wow. How in oblivion did you get here so fast? I kept a good pace because slow and steady wins the race. What? No, it doesn't. I should know. I always win and I never slow down. But there's no denying you got here first. Yeah. Somehow. In any case, I guess you'll be wanting your letter. <sighs> Let me just find it. I think it's around here somewhere. <laughs> Left it in Bear Cave. Uh-oh. You're not gonna like this. <laughs> you lost it again, didn't you? You're a terrible courier. Maybe. No, wait. There it is. Here. 
No, okay. <laughs> All right, have a good day. All right, man. have fun being a terrible courier. <laughs> Weirdo. Uh, this is this is from Thrice Bitten. Okay. This is this is his brilliant plan to get her to never hire him again. Okay. Because he's an idiot. Yeah. I hope you die. I hope someone rips open your belly and shoves a hive of bees in that horker you call a stomach. <laughs> I hope someone sews your mouth shut and pours hot fecal lava down your ears. Ugh. I hope your face gets infected with boils and your children are born ugly. Okay. I hope you die, and if by chance you don't, I'm going to kill you myself. Well, that's just a threat. I could have written a way better letter than that. That was stupid. Yes. All right, we got the letter back. Shall we return it? Or shall we deliver it to make trouble? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get him killed. <laughs> <laughs> I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Um, no. You look old. We're looking for a woman named Inger. Rude! She doesn't look old. She looks... What in the name of oblivion do you want? She looks hot. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, Inger! Hmm? Uh, sorry. Just thinking about my experiments. Experiments? Uh, what kind of experiments? Are you an alchemist? I'm aspiring to earn that title, yes. However, the road ahead is paved with loose cobbles and deadly pitfalls. Master Elgrim says I'm a natural, that I have a unique talent, but I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. My errant formulas have cost Master Elgrim a fortune in ingredients, some of which are almost irreplaceable. I don't know how you just ate while you were talking, but that's fine. What kind of ingredients do you need? To restore Master Elgrim's supply, I would need 20 Death Bell, 20 Nightshade, and 20 Nernroot. That's a lot! Am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering these rare ingredients for me? Y nah. Disappointing. I got a letter for you from Thrice Bitten. It's pretty fucking gross. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Poop. Here you go. What? What is this? Is this what he really thinks about me? Well, you can tell that... That ass not to come around the store anymore. He's not welcome. Hmm? Why are they both so hot? <laughs> I'm confused. All right. Well, now we need, now we need to go back to uh, Thrice Bitten and tell him the letter has been delivered. We can tell him, we're barely sorry about what we did. And he won't understand that that's a pun because we killed a lot of bears. Oh, uh, yeah. He, he has no idea. How was my... <laughs> I really like your cape. Stay out of trouble, Imperium. See, race cars don't exist around here, so no one knows what you're doing. Everyone's just like, why is that man making drunk bear noises? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I don't normally do this, but... Nope. Um... Maven's going to kill me. It's just a matter of time. She got the letter. I delivered it to her personally. You what? Why would you do that? <laughs> for fun! Forget it. I don't care. Just have to get out of here. Thanks for nothing, stranger. I hope you die trapped in a barrel of ants. <laughs> 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 that was a terrible insult. I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> it crashed the game! Me shooting him with an arrow crashed the game! Hey, guess what? I got your letter. You got it back? But that means I'm almost free to ask. Was she dead? Here. No, oh, okay. <laughs> hey. Damn, I lost another letter. It's got to be around here somewhere. Ah! Yeah, she dead, I think. I'm sorry to hear that. But if she's already dead, I suppose I don't have to feel guilty about taking this letter back. Here. These are some rare ingredients I was gathering as an apology to Ingen. I might as well give them to you instead. Thanks. Sure spoons. That's not and gold! This <laughs> isn't gold! This is a this is a pig heart that you carved Daedra on. <laughs> what a dumb quest! <laughs> Move! 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 <laughs> or we'll kill you for realsies. <laughs> Why is there a skeleton here? Uh, because this town is built on a graveyard? I, uh, yeah, but What are you doing that for? Why are you moving my skeleton? I'm leaving it there as a warning. <laughs> to the other skeletons. I want to read this book. Uh, the ruins of Kemez Lee, uh, spectacular treasures were out there waiting to be found. I found an empress and I assembled 
men at Morog who we ran into trouble and they talked about religious tattoos. And as we stepped forward, our boots crunched on piles of broken bones. Oh my. And we found some dwarven devices that were discarded after being destroyed by Tenpenny Tower. And then in the gloom, I found a bronze door. And then in that bronze door was a ancient ritual that was unable to crack the surface. And after finding a curious room, I removed a narrow arrow from the curious room in Red Mountain and an exciting prospect that were found by some diggers. And those diggers uh, went to Stendar and, laced and my said, boots. said uh, only a dead end would lead nowhere. And then when I read that, I used the light of my lamp to find some more dwarves who found a functioning steam grid and what? that functioning steam grid fell down 20 feet to a domed cupola. And inside that domed cupola was an implacable, impeccable machine. Steam, steam! That, that had steam. And then master... I'm done... Oh, my God. How long is this book? 